Good morning. Breaking overnight on offense. President Trump begins a key overseas trip by sounding off on impeachment. I would say this. I think it's very unpatriotic of the Democrats. What he's saying about the investigation as Democrats prepare to go public with their case and hold a crucial vote on Capitol Hill today. Nasty weather, that deadly winter storm dumping even more snow on parts of the Northeast this morning. States of emergency now declared thousands of post-Thanksgiving flights canceled, tens of thousands without power. We'll have the very latest and Al's full forecast. Chicago mystery, the city's police chief suddenly fired just weeks before he was due to retire. The mayor saying the top cop misled both her and the public. Eddie Johnson intentionally lied to me. He maintained that he was telling the truth. I now know definitively that he was not. Those stories plus taking a stand, a bombshell new interview with Prince Andrew's accuser. There's only one of us telling the truth, and I know that's me. Move over Cyber Monday. Here comes Travel Tuesday. Why today is the day to find major deals on your next vacation. And Monday Night Thriller. Wide open and into the hands of David Moore. Seattle hangs on to defeat the Minnesota Vikings. A big win that left the Seahawks dancing for joy. Today, Tuesday, December 3rd, 2019. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Hey, everybody. Welcome to today on this Tuesday morning. Thanks for joining us. You know that those guys practice that dance over and over I don't over think we've shown together. enough of this end zone dance. It goes on and on and on. I think we timed it out to like 20 seconds. Apparently, they had a new edition song in their heads. Yes. We don't know if it was Cool It Now, but we're gonna, <laughs> we'll try to find out. I love the end zone dance. It's the only part of football I really understand, you know? Oh, we'll have more on the game celebration, in a moment. But let's start with this high-stakes day for the president, both here at home and overseas. This morning, he's getting to work at a NATO summit in London, but much of his attention appears to be focused, yes, on the impeachment investigation unfolding at home. We've got two reports. We'll start with NBC White House correspondent Peter Alexander. Peter, good morning to you. Hey, Savannah, good morning to you this morning. Seated alongside the head of NATO in London, President Trump spent nearly an hour taking questions and taking aim at Democrats back home. Here in Washington on the impeachment front, today marks another critical day with the House Intelligence Committee expected to vote on its impeachment report tonight. Bloomberg, 